Penticton Yacht Club, we're right in the heart of downtown, just basically two blocks along the waterfront, beautiful walk through the uh, Japanese gardens. And then you're right at the heart of, of uh, Penticton with all the restaurants, the pubs, um, as well as Penticton. I mean, every weekend you got something going on here in the summer. The Narab Mata Bench in a 10 kilometer stretch, you have over 40 wineries to play around at. So it's, uh, it's a fun filled place. We have uh, 450 berths. We have six reciprocal bursts and we have 18 visitors. We have the, uh, both the reciprocal bursts are uh, good for obviously other yacht clubs as well as if there's overflow, we can put them in the visitors berths if they're available as well. All reciprocal accommodation here starts off with contacting the gas bar and making arrangements according to the schedule that there's free slips available. Once they come into the marina, that's the first point they check in at which time they'll get a gas card, uh, sorry, a, a lock key card, and from that we'll get them in and out of the gates as well as the washroom facilities. In the washroom facilities there's coin laundry as well as coin showers that are available. Our gas dock is famous for selling the cheapest high octane fuel on Okanagan Lake. We also have a pump out on water. Uh, typical snacks and ice and that kind of stuff for the boater. It is open seven days a week during the summer. Penticton Yacht Club holds um, the Grassroots Regatta and that's usually in June. We have the Wednesday night races as well as Sunday afternoon and then our racing uh, part, our sailing racing, they go up and down the lake. They attend quite a lot of the other regattas that the other yacht clubs hold, as well as they go as far as Vancouver Island and down to the state of Washington. Our uh, Rusty Anchor Pub is always open uh, for those events as well. I just learned recently Penticton is one of two cities in the world that is bookended by two lakes, and the other one being in Switzerland. Um, it's a lot closer and a lot easier to get to Penticton. So, and we have lots of parking, which we're trying to hang on to. Come on down by boat or by car. We got parking, we got accommodation for your boat in the marina. We'd love to have you. Certainly, our club, the Summerland Yacht Club, we uh, we know the importance of reciprocal moorage and what it means to our members. Um, we have a lot of our members that travel up and down the lake and uh, every year uh, we ensure that we have uh, a number of visitor spots available as well as uh, keeping uh, up to date the number of uh, members we have that we could be away for a few days to ensure we could uh, use their slips while they're away. Our preference would be obviously for them to contact us in advance either by going on our website or calling the clubhouse and uh, we in turn would take the necessary information and provide them with a spot in advance of coming into the club here. Our boathouse uh, Baron Grill which is available uh, from Thursday to Sunday every week. I guess our flagship event would be the Giant's Head Regatta which is uh, typically uh, in early August. That's well attended by the other clubs throughout the lake. I do offer anyone in the Colony Yacht Club to contact us, come on down here. Um, we are not as big as Kelowna, we're a small club here, but certainly uh, not only our own little club here, but in the valley down here in Summerland, we have Bottleneck Drive, which has, I do believe, 21 wineries right now and uh, there's a tour bus that leaves from right next door here that for somebody who wants to come down for a night, spend a night and go on a wine tour, we have it all happening here in Summerland. So we welcome you. Hi, I'm Harry Roosh, Commodore of Peaceland Yacht Club. Welcome. We're just going to show you a little bit about our club. It's just beautiful here. We have miles and miles of beachfront. The town is right on the water, right in the, you know two blocks from from our club. So when you come down and visit, you can easily walk down and enjoy. And we have farmers market and Sundays, and and we have quite a few restaurants now. In the early '60s, the fisheries and oceans built our facility as a safe harbor. Well, 
It was too expensive for them to upkeep, so in the early 80s, we formed the Peachland Yacht Club, and here we are today. We have 78 members, and we have 61 slips now with our new expansion. We did the expansion, first of all, to accommodate the rescue boat, second of all, to get a few more slips for us, and it also protects our visitors' berth better and it also protects the boat launch. So it was just a win-win-win situation. We have reciprocal visitors' berth. Uh, we have the same rules as Colonial Yacht Club. You have to call and book ahead and get us your insurance papers and then fill out a form and we'll issue you a key card. We have the deck with barbecues that you're free to use. The biggest event we have is the Commodore's dinner. Uh, we do have some barbecues. Our guest house, we consider our clubhouse, so come on down and stay, and they've got really good food down there. So uh, one thing I'd really like to do is invite everybody to come down to Peaceland, because it is really nice. Carrying on the tradition that past Commodore Marty Gerard did from West Kelowna is, I love you guys! We try to be a very family-oriented yacht club, uh, we've got uh, approximately 186 members right now with 25 plus social members and um, everyone acts like just one big family. So yeah, we're very proud of it and it's a part of West Kelowna's history or West Bank's history. Um, this used to be a car ferry that ran between West Bank and Kelowna. And when the bridge, or the first bridge was, was built to access Kelowna, uh, the ferry was no longer used. So when our club incorporated in 1962, um, I think in 1965, a few years later, we purchased the old ferry from the city of Kelowna, brought it up here, pushed it up on shore, enclosed it, and turned it into our clubhouse. We did a major renovation the year before last on the interior, and this year, this spring, we upgraded our deck, outside deck, uh, quite extensively. Uh, so it, it's very, very functional for um, events such as weddings. All the uh, reciprocal members of other yacht clubs are welcome to come here at any time. Uh, they should call Kathy, our office manager, in advance, probably two or three days in advance, just to ensure they can uh, access that merge. If not, we may be able to place them somewhere else. We have a lot of fun activities here. We have events throughout the year, um, some major events, some minor events, uh, some of the minor events, but uh, equally fun are Thursday night dinners, which we usually hold between May and September. All of our events are open to other members. Uh, the Thursday night dinners, the major events such as Lobster Night, which we usually hold in the third week of June. Uh, this year we're going to have an Oktoberfest, um, and there's, there's others. You can see them on our website. All those other um, Okanagan Lake Yacht Club members that haven't been here, please come here. We'd love to have you. It's a fun place. You'll enjoy yourself, and um, just come on by. Hi everybody, I'm Mike Thomas. I'm the current Commodore of the Vernon Yacht Club. This club actually was incorporated in 1953 and uh, the concept was that a few you know, very well-meaning individuals decided that it was time to form a sailing association and one thing led to another and of course uh, there was a fellow by the name of Dodora. He's the guy that actually was the driving force behind the Vernon Yacht Club. And this wheel here, by the way, is from Mr. Dodora, Captain Dodora. And it was donated. It actually came from a fire and was refurbished and is now one of our cherished mementos. For folks that are coming from Alberta, we're a good jumping off point. And we offer, you know, excellent golfing. We have Predator right here on site. We have Sparkling Hills, which is just beside Predator which is, a, uh, I would say, a rather exclusive uh, resort community. We just had our annual pig roast, and uh, which was sold out, as always. It's always very, very popular. I think, like most yacht clubs, we depend on the volunteer spirit. And I can say quite proudly that Vernon Yacht Club has that strong volunteer sp uh, spirit. Anybody from another yacht club that is a member of, of a yacht club. If we need a slip for somebody, say from Kelowna Yacht Club or West Kelowna, any of the other clubs, they would simply phone or text our fleet captain and we would find a place for them. It's simply a matter of signing in when you get here and, uh, and then after that, 
uh, you're welcome to do anything you want. You were treated as one of our own members. So it's really like we're all one great big yacht club. And everybody on this lake, we, we treat them just the same as we tr treat our own members. We do have a free pump out that's available to everybody on the lake. A anyone that's fr from the other yacht clubs is welcome here. As I know, we are welcome at your clubs. And uh, we look forward to seeing you. Thank you.